the, the, the angle that this neck approaches the body, where it points to <clears throat> on the bridge. Imagine sighting down this like you're sighting down a rifle and aiming at something. It should aim at a certain spot right here. All of the geometry that's, that, that is built into the body, the arching and the, the ramping and all that is, is all part of it. But there is a perfect neck angle. And I like to think of it as, you know, if I could balance this cup, you know, there's a spot where it might just stay there. And this is too far one way or too far the other way. There's kind of a spot on the, on the angle adjustment that's just right. Wouldn't you agree, Andy? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. You can, there's a little bit of play in one direction or another because mm -hmm. the neck angle will influence the way that, uh, any one guitar sounds. And plays. Yeah, and plays. Mm -hmm. You're changing the way that the top is responding to that string tension. So you have a little bit of room, but traditionally with a neck being glued in one place, you're going to glue it in and however it ends up, that's what you get. So how do you That's, adjust it then? I mean, what, what did, obviously something else changed. If you glue it in and it's not quite perfect, you're, are you using a tall bridge or a sharp bridge? Yeah, you would, you would raise the saddle up and down and that's what you would do at that point. But there's something that's kind of, um, it's, it's, it's not logical, but it's true. And, uh, you know, Andy, I'm not even sure you and I have discussed this too much, but I'm going to see if you agree. Basically, in basic terms, if I take this neck and point it up like this so that it's the rifle is sighting at the bottom of this bridge and I sand this bridge down and I put a, a low saddle on it, that guitar is going to have more power. The, the sound is going to have, be a little more powerful. And even at the exact same action height off of the neck, it's going to be a little stiffer and play with maybe a little bit less buzzing at a harder attack. And if I rotate the whole thing back like this and point it way up here, raise the saddle to compensate, even with the same string height, it's gonna, the strings are gonna engage easier and it'll probably be a little more buzzy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can get a little more focus in a guitar sound mm -hmm. by increasing the neck angle, by raising it up a little bit you're going to trim that spectrum from a big, wide, large palette into kind of a smaller focus, mm -hmm. smaller spot, which in certain circumstances can be real helpful. Like if somebody wants, wants their dreadnought to play well with a band and they need a little more of a, almost like a shotgun mic kind of sonic pattern, a little taller neck angle can get you there. It can help you. But, but there is a spot that's that balanced spot that's just right. Right. Where the guitar is going to play, the strings are going to engage, um, it's not going to be too buzzy, it's putting the right tension on the top, and of course you're building the geometry of this top for that tension to be well, right. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the whole point of it, is that you're building the guitar for a, for a specific neck angle. Right. I mean, all the geometry we build in there is for that spot you're talking about. 